Hey everyone, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques, and I'm going to do the quick walkthrough for our Modern Design Auction, which is on April 5th, 6th, and 7th, 2022. Quick pan of the room. We have over 1,680 lots of mid-century and uh, decorator furnishings, selling about 600 lots per day, approximately, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Preview for this auction is on... Monday, April 5th from 10 to 6. And also you can see all these items on our website on Live Auctioneers, also on invaluable.com. And that's where you can place absentee bids and you can also bid live during the auction in all three of those platforms. Uh, as usual, I'm gonna take a walk through the whole auction so we can see what there is. And then I'll spend a little bit more time looking at the items individually and talking about them uh, one at a time. But lots of great items, everything from Danish to Herman Miller, Knoll, etc. So I'm walking around here. I'll do the whole auction in order once we do our walkthrough. Artwork, sculpture, furniture, carpets, decorator, designer, artisan, craftsman. Fantoni, Italian, Art, Raymond Lowy, Mobiles, Chandeliers, All right, so we've seen about the uh, entire auction. So now let's start out with day one. We start out lot number one on day one, some nice Danish, some nice uh, Laurel lamps, Gordon and Jane Martz or Marshall Studios bookends. Nice collection of these. There's, there's two pair in lot number five and there's another lot where there is a, there's a total of five bookends. They're down here. Great little set right here, the Rosewood. It's a set of six chairs and also a table, refractory, lot 18 and uh, another lot. Now look at the size of these vessels right here. Very, very awesome, they're metal, lot 11. Uh, this is a reason to watch the video so you can see how big these are. And in the, in the catalog, sometimes it's hard to, to know the size of these statuary and, and vessels. Look at this great lot 19. Let's come through here. We continue on through lot 50, 60, the bourbons and we go through lot 70s. That's Enrique Garcel, a copy of a nice uh, Todd Rob John Kipping's table bench right there. Some good statuary in the back, chrome and glass, Milo Bauman. Here's another Mila or make that Laurel stem light. These are a pair of very cool uh, travertine tables. There's one here and here's another back here that are lot 86. Here are the third auction in a row. We have some of these Fratini nesting tables. This set is kind of a blonde color and these are reversible. They're black on the other side. Coming through here, lot 108, ball chair. Down low, very cool lot 111 on that kind of a low coffee table with the brass legs, kind of like a little bit Ponty style. Uh, good 50s lamp. This lot number 200 is a Eames for Herman Miller lounge chair in brown leather. There's another one in this auction that is all white with like a lighter colored wood. Uh, this is a nice little grouping of smalls in the 200s including that shelf unit. Let me walk through here because I didn't finish, I didn't do this way on the initial walkthrough. You have some good, look at this great lot number 225 sculpture out of aluminum. And uh, it's got some weight to it. Very interesting. It's up on a, like a, a heavy wood base. There's some more laurel lamps. Here's a pair, here's one of these uh, brass Diamond cabinets. This is Finn Yule, the knockdown wall cabinet right there. Moving 
Moving on. All right, 265. Once we get through here, up into the, about the 200s, here's a great little live edge table. Here's another one on, underneath that that's a tile top table. These are platinum. There's some pure saw. It's a nice one of those brass tables that uh, spin open. And continue on. This is Gerald de Juisto. There's a couple of those hanging on the wall over here. And then we get into this section, which is lot number 290, 300. This is a good artist up in the top there, Wook. It's by Wook Young Choi. Sydney hamburger on this large pottery or ceramic vessel. You have the artwork. These tables I thought were very interesting. They have like an inlaid top, uh, kind of a metal, and then they have this whimsical leg with the uh, twisted metal stretchers. This finial settee. This is lot 609, so lot 609 would be in day two. Anything over 600 is day two. So let me back up this way. Everything on the left here, day two. So let me continue on with day one. Once we finish that area, walking past the items we already looked at, maybe you see something different this time. We come into here, and we do lot 300 and 400. So you have benches, you have bar stools, you have chairs that we've kind of has stacked up a little bit. You can see them fully uh, unfurled in the catalog on our website, uniquesandantiques.com, and also on Live Auctioneers and Invaluable. Online bidding, available on all those sites. Look at this miniature French leather chair. Come back around here. Once we get out of this room, look at this set of nice, uh, kind of like a peach or formica tables. Orange creamsicle color. Come down here, wicker chairs in the 500s, 535. Down here, molded plywood. There's a nice little like molded back chair there. These are balloon molds. Very cool. They're, they're made to hang on the wall at this point. They're just decorative art, but there's a blue one and a yellow one. Very cool. Then we come back out here. We're into the 300s still. So I went a little bit out of order when I went into that room to do the fours and the fives. So this is all 300. You have good tables. You have the mirrors, brass lamps. This table in the bottom here is Mastercraft. And here's a grouping of smalls that are also in the 300s, all in day one. Everything from statuary to glassware sets, wheat chief tables, rosewood credenzas, catch-alls. All right, so this is where the day one ends. Day one ends at almost 600. Day two begins at 600. And that's over in this section right here. We start with this chrome stainless tea table. Very high quality, Bruton glass top. Very cool. Slot 618 is this kind of kinetic sculpture. It does spin all the way around, but I'm not going to spin it around here because it doesn't have the clearance. About 617, nice little null credenza. These in the center here are George D'Amato. That's a nice uh, credenza down there below with the metal legs. Let's 
$626, a pair of those Danish tables. $602, nice pair of oversized like Milo Bauman chairs. Look at these, a uh, set of these wicker chairs, wrapped rattan, Belicky Brothers. Very cool wall divider, room divider, lot 605. Once we finish there, we move over here. This is the uh, stages of pregnancy. You have five, six, seven, eight, nine months all the way down. Some more George D'Amato's statues. Like this is a grouping of four George D'Amato's and this is a grouping of two. That one's by itself, I think. There's also some more of his square art. 656, very cool compass, oak, leather, rocker. This way, here's that lot 659. This is Herman Miller by Eames. Very clean on the white upholstery. Let me take a peek back here. We're gearing up for our May auction, May 10th, that will be, featuring a whole collection of... Art Nouveau furniture. All right, so now we're into the lot, the, the 700s. This table right here is adjustable. Has a, whoa. That'll go all the way up to a good 30 inches tall, uh, high enough to eat dinner off of. Very cool on that adjustable table. This is a triptych. There's three of those that go together. There's a stack of art. I'm not going to get into those, but they're all listed on the catalog. In the corners here, you have the Raymond Lowy for light Lear floor lamps. Some good abstract art. Travertine. More. Chrome. Pair of nice Raymond Lowy cabinets. These are by Joe Seltzer. Nice size on these. Sometimes it's hard to tell how big they are in the catalog. Here's another one over here. Kind of industrial welded sculptures, iron. Lot 703 is a pair of these MC Escher. It's like we're looking in a mirror. Here's another one right here. Now let's step through here and continue on with day number two. This is April 6th, 2022, my 31st wedding anniversary. All right, so down here, we're in the 700s still. You have a Paul Evans table there, the patchwork. You have a pair of nice Vladimir Kagan signed chairs with the uh, chrome bases. You have a pair of nice rust color tufted chairs. Down the back there, you have the rattan column based glass top table. Adrian Pearsall, faux travertine. This one is Rom Weber. More Miami, Miami modernism type. There's some Italian living room furniture up top there. 826 all the way through. Nice little Dogen ladder. African. You come through here. There's a, what is that? Action office, is that? Modernist desk with X. There is an action office desk. I'm not sure where it is. All right, we're in the lot 800s. Nice little Danish server nice uh, table right there with the brass columns fantoni there's a nice set of neon pole lamps and they all light up we took pictures of them lit up all right let's continue down this direction in the we're in like the 900s now so you have bunches of tables and chairs by knoll There's a pair of these small hairpin leg chairs. Look at that nice chrome ball, chrome and lucite ball. 
And now we're into this corner right here to about lot 1000, 990s. There's the 80s tables, Paul McCobb, Lane in the back. There's like the frem roll tables, the chairs to go around the table. Uh, all right, now we're into the 10, 1100s. Nice kind of Pierre Paulin style, Albini. Mies van der Rohe, 1049, Roche Beaubois. There's a nice little long sofa, Danish modern, along with the wicker. Look at that skull with the big antlers. Continuing on, now we're in the 11, 1200s. This is where we end day two. And you can see everything from lounge chairs to uh, Danish style benches, Drexel Declaration. Let's continue on straight ahead. With the lane step tables, about 1120 are these pair of credenzas. One, two. And let's continue to the end of day two. So you have a bunch of bedroom furniture, some nice. nightstands, stone side tables, and the like. 1160, one of the last items in day two. Some nice uh, Danish chests. There's the marble base, like Arco style, style lamp, wall hangings. All right, so once day two is over, now we're gonna be into day three. Day three is Thursday, April 7th. All these auctions begin at 10 a.m. And we start over here in this room, right here. Nice desk, about 12.01. Then we go around this room here. You have the, the hooded chair. You have sets of dining furniture. You can see the credenzas. I continue down the front of this row. Whoa, sorry about that. Good chandeliers. The chandeliers are in day two, most of them. Ruth Waldman is the artist on these kind of uh, plaster sculptures. That's lot 1502, so that's kind of at the end or the mid part of day two. We walk down this aisle. We have the molded plywood chairs with the leather seats. Groups of lamps, 1268 includes this Jacquardnet style lamp with all the other lamps in the aisle, the row right there, including that one right there with the leather base. We continue on this way. Umbo, slat tables, shell chairs, hand chair. Back here you have nice metal table, decorative table below that, a uh, cabinet with little legs, little uh, peg legs, and that. So you have one, two, three, four items up there stacked up that's a good uh, painting right there it's uh, in the style of Legere it's, it's painted by a different artist it's signed here la later on in day two is a great collection of George Nelson for Herman Miller so you have the two the two tall chests right there sold one at a time and they have a pair of low chests right here. One and two sold together. And then you have this like little credenza. And here's the action office desk that I was talking about earlier. And there's another credenza down here, like, like a knoll one with the, uh, the leather handles. You can't really see it, but you can check it out in the catalog. So if you're looking for items like that, you're not really gonna see it very easily on the video, but you will see it on the catalog.
Lot number 1454, lots of questions about this right here. What's it made out of? I'm not sure. It's kind of heavy. It's solid, but it's not cement. It's not metal. It's not plastic. It's some kind of maybe composition plaster, or I don't even know, like a polymer of some type. This direction, 1437 we are, going up to about 16, or I guess we're going up to like 1880, 1680, I'm not sure. All right, here's a nice uh, Shaver Howard set. Luminoff. Stickly. I think that it's, uh, what is it? It's quaint furniture, so a stickly rocker right there. Great chandeliers. There's a Parsinger style chandelier. There's a Tynell style chandelier. Look at this very cool thing right here. These are expensive to buy new. It's the um, the Adam's Temptation Chair by Edwin Nicol. All right. And this is about the end of it. I'm just going to do this one last row here on the left-hand side. And you can see it. So reminder, preview for this auction is Monday, April 4th from 10 to 6. And the auction itself is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, April 5, 6, 7. All starting at 10 a.m. All on live, live Auctioneers, Invaluable, and our website. We continue down this aisle. Now there is, uh, at the end of day three, a bunch of outdoor furniture, Willie Ghoul. I'm going to add that to the video at the end of the auction uh, with just some overview collages of that so take a look there if you're interested in the outdoor furniture and the woolly ghoul uh, that'll be added here at this point all right so one last pan of the room i'm going to thank you for hanging out with me and watching the walkthrough video at uniques and antiques here in aston pennsylvania and we'll see you at the auction thanks for watching bye bye